Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. As a governor, I don't have new Naira notes. Adeliki calls for peace and means cash crunch as they try to implicate him into what is going on. The man a PDP man, how they want to implicate him. This country, they just a fine way to implicate everybody, anybody. It's just, is honestly, honestly, you will hear APC uh, talking, and they'll be talking as if PDP government is in place. You think they tire me, honestly. I mean, not they tire you people. APC government, they in place. They go to talk. They go to talk like saying, PDP, and I put the thing with they on ground from top of their head. Now, your government, they in place. Now, your government, do say they do so. Why would you call the worry other people now? These are some of the things we are seriously, sincerely experiencing in this country as at now, as we speak. So there is un urgent need for us to get on with the truth. Okay? There is urgent need. Uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Okay? Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. As a governor, I don't have new Naira notes. Adeleke calls for peace and means cash crunch as they try to implicate him in what is going on. Ademola Adeliki, governor of Oshun, has lamented the Naira scarcity in the country, saying the problem has affected the financial lives of the people in the state. Rashid Olowale, the spokesperson of the governor, said Adeliki spoke during a meeting on Monday with the Central Bank of Nigeria officials after the state branch got involved with people who were not happy shouting over collection of their naira lowerly in a statement on monday quoted adeliki saying the crisis has beaten so hard that even as the state governor he has no cash to spend he told the central bank official to act fast to conceal any form of unrest in the states. The situation is getting out of hand. The CBN must act fast. Any bank holding the new notes must be, must, be, must be sentenced and we must ensure that it is done properly. We should not treat such banks with kid glove, the governor said. This is terrible. People are really suffering. The governor was quoted as saying, my people, are, my people, be patient. But we must not take laws into our hands. We must be patient. And we must ensure that things are done decently and in order. Why are the new notes not available? Is the supply small? Is it inadequate? Why did they go on to re- design the naira if they were not prepared for the truth the governor said the state is ready to partner with cbn to solve the naira scarcity as people are suffering the new notes are now are not available even as the state governor i do not have new notes you can see how hard it is for our people to assess this new currency if their governor is not getting them we should not overstretch the cooperation we are enjoying from the citizens we are expected to elect and appoint leaders to respond to the needs and aspiration of our people why responding to the governor oluyemi adeyemi the cbn director commended adeliki for his proactive steps that he have saved the state from the relative naira issues we must thank governor, the governor for reaching out to the people, for diffusing the tension, for keeping the state in peace. We are aware of the day Mr. Governor stopped some angry youth from demolition and attacking the central bank office in the state. Our, on our part, we are working hard to make new Naira available for the people. The new notes must be made available to prevent anarchy. Let me say that the CBN is responsible for the hardship Nigerians are going through.
but must do everything to put people back in place so that we do not lose the peace we are enjoying. So this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. Um, we just have to, we just have to, we just have to ensure that um, things are done properly. Nigerians are sincerely suffering. Nigerians are sincerely suffering, you know, from all that is going on. Nigerians are sincerely suffering. Every single one of us must understand it. Every single one of us must understand it. We must understand that there is need, you know, to stop the possible anarchy that the people are being pushed to. If things are not done properly now, we may not be able to come out of this. The Buhari's administration did not really think it through before they got involved in what they are doing right now. They did not really think it through. If they did, they would have given ample time, okay, before they go ahead to say, let us redesign the Naira. And if they are redesigning the Naira, they must ensure that, you know, the people, there is enough to go around when you go to the bank. I mean, if you go to a place like Great Britain, the initial, not too long ago, they had to swap their some of their currencies. I think the, the 5, 10, and 20 pounds. And nobody even knew that they were changing it. You go, for instance, you go to the shop, you're buying something. As you pay, if you're paying cash, you're not using your card. As you pay, they give you change with the new one. You can as well take your, your, your notes to the bank, and the bank will give you the new one. Hassle free. Well, I mean, the transition, nobody even knew that they were changing notes. Nobody knew. It was that, it was that fluid. Nobody even knew that they were changing the notes. It went so, so, so smooth. So much so that the people did not feel the heat. It's only in Nigeria where we suffer people for everything. Come vote, they will suffer you to vote. If you not vote now, they will put their people there. So it's when you look at it, they suffer for this. That's why we need the right leader. They suffer too much. They suffer too much. People, they suffer. They suffer too much. They suffer too much. They suffer too much. Can we continue like this? There is a point, a point called the breaking point for people. It's called the breaking point. Okay, it's called the breaking point. Anyway, my lovely people, it is time for us to forge ahead and to ensure that uh, we do not allow people who have been sabotaging this country to continue to do so. We must do something. We must act and we must act now without allowing them to destroy the trust, the, the fragile trust that the people even have. One of the little trusts that people are still holding on to is the vote, to vote. Eh? Please, allow people to be able to vote. Allow people to vote, please. Let's ensure that we allow people to vote. Okay? It is what it is. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, remember that every one of us are in this together. Okay? God bless. Bye for now.